Imagine that there was an event where warriors competed for gold and glory every other summer, maybe like every four summers. Athletes the world over would be honored for their prowess in their chosen fields. They would train for years to become the best in the world. That bonk or like Mario Party or TNC Surf Designs. Did you think I was not talking about video games? I don't actually have a human personality that goes beyond video games. That's why this week I'm Carter's Blower, we do the Olympics, I don't know what those are, of video games with Nick Arcade Challenge Week. We take on various little challenges, including ones with weird codes, weird controllers, and listen, it just it just gets weird. So tune in to see who gets the gold. It's you, viewer. It was always going to be you. It's episode 187 of Cartridge Blowers, Legend of the Last Life. You know, I've uh I've never won a gold medal in my entire life. Uh, I'd actually really like to win the Olympics one year. I keep trying. I keep going every time they have the Olympics. I keep auditioning. Uh, but geez, uh, if you're listening, Olympic Committee, I mean, I, every little thing I do, it just never seems enough for you. I don't want to lose it again, but I'm not like them. Baby, when you finally... Give a medal out or three. Guess what? It's gonna be me. Why in I ends cartridge blowers? Starring Cody Coleman, Nikki Wright, Matt Krula. And no one else. Cartridge blower. Hello, everybody, and welcome to YNIN's Cartridge Blowers, the show where we give video games a second chance to make a first impression. I'm Cody Coleman, and with me, as always, is Nikki Wright. Hello. And Matt Krua. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Everyone's favorite character. Welcome. Oh, boy. <laughs> this is the show where we have uh, we, we play video games based around a theme. Uh, usually in the second half, we're going to get to it a lot faster this time because this week the theme is Nick Arcade Challenge Week, where uh, we've issued challenges. The audience has issued challenges through our Discord, um, which you can get to through our Twitch at exclamation point Discord in the chat. And uh, we're going to see how well we do. Uh, it's it's going to be just a grand old time you can uh, watch us live and interact with the chat and see the after show where we watch stupid ass videos together and even see the pre-show that we just had where we discussed the true villain of donkey kong country it was fantastic that's why you need to be here live twitch.tv slash cartridge blower so, uh like every other friday typically and then you can catch the edited version on our youtube channel at youtube.com slash cartridge blowers uh, that's where you see all the the junk taken out but again you really need to see us live go over to twitch.tv slash cartridge blowers follow us you'll have a good time also you'll see it like all the weird things matt does throughout the week like uh SNES yeah. and excess where he tries to beat every single uh snes game released in north america I Right? I played iCarly on Nintendo DS this week. That's so, that's great. So there's that. Uh, how was that? It was iCarly on <laughs> Nintendo DS. Did you not already play that? No, they all blend together, don't they, huh? <laughs> they do, yeah. Yeah. So uh, we got a lot to actually play this week. So let's get into Nick Arcade Challenge Week. So, like I said at the beginning of the episode, we try to do this every year, and that's we issue challenges to one another, we take challenges from the audience, and uh, see how well we can do. We have a very large pool of things we still have not gotten to, as well as some new stuff that we were uh, issued this time, um, and we're going to see how well we, we do. Um, I am up 
first. So we're just going to go through my challenges and, and see how I did, and then we'll move on from there. Um, so my first challenge came from uh, Joey, a, a fan and uh, a friend and uh, a family that uh, is is always hanging out in the chat. And he uh, issued a, a challenge for the Tetris game for the NES, and that is get a Tetris on level 16 in under 30 seconds. Now, um, I had to find a cheat code to get to level 16 because I wasn't good enough to beat nine. So uh, we'll see how well I actually fucking do. But uh... <laughs> Cody, did you read? Did you read the document? I did read the document. I, the I'm the one code? that I added that. <laughs> Oh, oh, did he? Oh, oh, oh okay. I, I added I thought, the cheat thought, code to the document. I thought he did. I was like, there's a cheat code in the... Okay, never mind. Go. Yeah, yeah. My bad, my bad. <laughs> That's why I added it. Um, so it. Uh, let, let's let's just go. Let's see how I do. All right. Okay, level 16. Uh-huh. Love that music. Good music. Good music, for sure. You're fucked up. Real yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing good right off the hey! bat. I got a line. Line. And then it's all downhill from there. Yeah. Well, <laughs> this is looking not promising. Well, okay. So. Okay. So a failure. Uh, uh, that that was a bit of a failure on on my part. So. Um, it's fine. It's fine. Look, Tetris gets hard eventually. I'm not. I'm. I can't be a Doctor Curian. I don't know. No. I don't who know can? from Tetris. So no, I, I th I'm pretty sure Tetris isn't even real. Are you sure? They made absolutely. that up. That's a, it's a Russian psyop, <laughs> and from the Cold War, <laughs> the Game Boy was secretly a Russian like mm -hmm, recruitment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, well, my next challenge came uh, from Matt. Um, not doing too good so far, but uh, I thought maybe I'll try Mario Land Two for the Game Boy. Get fifty coins on the Tree Zone One before the clock reaches 460 seconds. So I actually, I appreciate that Matt put the in-game clock time so I didn't have to put a timer up into the corner. Uh, so uh, I appreciate that, Matt. Um, let's see how well I do on this challenge. Right. Okay. Look how green this game is. Yeah, dude. Welcome to Game Boy. <laughs> Game Boy's loud, apparently. Cha -cha. <laughs> no, I, I love this. This is great. This is a good game. So I did it. streaming this next week or the week after. Oh, oh hey, yeah. wow. That was, yeah. That was easy. Got 53 coins, uh, four, uh, 473 on the clock. So, okay. hey, I'm 1-1. One, one. I'm doing, uh, you know, pretty all right. Uh, all right. Rumpel says 10 out of 10 graphics. So we got it. Let's uh, keep track of Cody's score so we can record an average for everybody. Okay, sure. Oh. Yeah. Um, okay. Now, now, cool. <laughs> now we're competing. Now we're competing. The chat wants us to compete. They want us to compete. Okay. All right. We'll try. And then, and then the winner will go to the video zone to face the wizard Murloc. Yeah. That I I signed more. I've signed him. So it, we're good. We we got him on got retainer. It. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how that works. Um. All right. Next challenge also comes from Matt, and this time we have Mario Tennis for the N64. We are to win one one-on-one -on -one game. Can be any two characters versus one another um, without the other player uh, and it's game, not match um, without the other player scoring on you more than once. So uh, that's what we got. Um, I, I really enjoy Mario tennis. I was not super great at the N64 one. So uh, let, let's see. Maybe, maybe I redeem myself. Let's give it a shot. Hey, of course you're boo. Of course I am. All right, so far so good. Thirty love. This was this game taught me how to play tennis, and how the rules worked. So far so good. Oh no. Okay, so success for Cody. You did it. Easy, 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 easy. I did it. I did it. Mario Tennis, uh, I, I feel I feel redeemed. Um, so, the next challenge comes from uh, our, our chat regular, a tea tree, 
who issued a, a challenge for Doom 2 for the PC, which is to complete Icon of Sin, which is the very last battle of the game. Um, there were certain codes that you were allowed to do. Basically, you can um, refill your ammo uh, and uh, I think your armor using um, one of the certain codes. Um, at, at least once, but you have to survive long enough to be able to even type it. So this is the final boss fight of Doom 2. Uh, keep in mind, it's been a very long time since I've played Doom 2, so I was no, I, I had no idea how I would do. So uh, okay. let's, let's give it a shot. Ooh, look at this. Yeah, you get like all of the weapons. I don't like the face the Doom guy is making at the bottom. Uh, yeah, it does look a little, a little like he should be arrested for some kind of perversion. <laughs> so the way you're supposed to beat this boss is you're supposed to lower this platform, and then uh, raise up, and then you got to lower this platform, go into the center area up here after the platform raises back up, and flip the switch. To raise a uh, platform in the center of the, uh, the the bottom floor, and after it raises up all the way, you go and lower that platform, and then wait for it to go back up to where you shoot rockets into the forehead of the devil. Okay. So that's that's the way you're supposed to do. You have to do that three times. Uh, also, the the ground seems to be hurting me. I didn't remember that, but um, also it's not auto targeting the where I'm supposed to shoot, which is very frustrating. <laughs> so, oh no! So um, I I thought it was supposed to auto target. So I guess you have to fire at the right time during the lift up meanwhile oh no it is spawning a bunch of fucking people the entire time did you hit it i couldn't tell uh i don't think so because i believe when you hit it it lowers the platform got it so so far I, i'm i gotta hit it okay all right so uh, i died i lost <laughs> i did got it i uh i was slaughtered <laughs> So, that was that was that seemed like an awful fight. It was really hard. Uh, yeah. Now, um, like if it, the auto targeting was working a little better, uh, it probably wouldn't have been that hard if you just do it fast and don't focus too much on the other enemies. Um, sure. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I I I, I, I fucked I, up. What would you play it on? I played it on archive.org. <laughs> okay. Nikki, did you do the Doom challenge too? Mickey? Okay. No. Sorry, say that again? Did you do did the you Doom do the challenge? Doom? I did not, no. Okay. Yeah, me neither. I, I'm glad that neither of us had to sit through that hell. <laughs> it's awful. Yeah. Literal hell. Um, yeah. So, uh, I, I've won two and okay. lost two. So, now we're going to go uh, to a challenge <clears throat> made by Mew Mew Fan for Sonic the Hedgehog 1 for the Sega Genesis, where uh, it was to be complete Green Hill Zone with a controller upside down. Now, he did not specify an act, so I assumed it was the whole thing. And uh, I also assumed you couldn't die. Um, I, I put imposed that challenge. He didn't say it, but I'm, I'm assuming that's what he wanted. Um, so, let's see how I do. Got, got my... There I go. There's the flip. Oh, yeah. The proof, baby, is in the pudding. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. I did get hit, but I can get hit. I didn't die yet. Yeah. That's fine. You're good. How does it, how does it feel to play with this upside down? A little weird. Sure. I I start to kind of get the, the hang of it, but, like, controlling movement with the other side hurts <laughs> what controller are you using i'm using a uh, xbox one controller got it so gunma says that he kind of hoped cody would then cross and twist his arms <laughs> and hold that normally <laughs> i will say it was something i considered for a challenge but i was like that doesn't seem like it's in the spirit of the challenge <laughs> I, sense, I, yeah. I beat one act one 
So, uh, so far, so good. Moving on to Act 2. All right, all right. But yeah, it would have been definitely much harder if I had crossed my arms and held it kind of <laughs> normally. Thank you, Gunma. Da -da -da. We're getting m many more spikes in this one. I think you're better at Sonic than I am. You think? Yeah. Oh, I died. Oh. I died at, to, a, to a hole in the ground. That was a self-imposed thing, though. Like, That's true. It was you, not in the thing. Could... The yeah, challenge was self-imposed. So if you if could have made it to the end, if one of these folks attempted this, that was not necessarily put on them. So mm. I, I kind of imposed. I feel, like, that you, on I feel like you could have made it. Like I said, you I think, think you're doing pretty good. Well, thank yeah. you, thank you. You just hit a checkpoint. You were fine. I appreciate your faith in me. I was uh, that faith in you. Too. Next up is another challenge from Matt. Is for uh, Super Metroid, uh, Metroid for the SNES, and it's um, the whole escape sequence after you beat Ridley in the the beginning of the game. You have to uh, make it out with 22 seconds left on the clock or more. Um, so there we go. That's that's all there is to this one. Uh, let's see if I can do it. Okay. I was a little confident in this one because I have uh, not that long ago played Super Metroid. Okay. How many seconds do you need to have on the clock? 22. Okay. That's a weird number. Why did I pick that? I have no idea. <laughs> it's, it's, I, I, if I remember correctly, in my first set of challenges, I like just did them all myself. Yeah. And then like made the time a little easier than what I did. Okay. So maybe you're just better at me than that, than, than me at Metroid, which would be not hard to do. <laughs> well, I haven't, I haven't won yet. Uh, Rumpel says at the end of the challenge, can we please add 100 points to all contenders? Yes. 100 we'll bonus points to all Nick Arcade challenges. Oh, oh no, Cody, Cody. Yes. I did it. 29 seconds on the clock. Look at that. Uh, I did beautiful. it. Beautiful. I did it. So, so far, yeah, so Cody, good. You're killing it, man. I'm doing, doing great. pretty decently. I, I'm not like keeping the only track, but. The only challenge you really lost was the Doom one and the Tetris one. Those were both really hard. They, very hard. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Moving on to challenge seven. This comes from Digital Ignorance. Uh, this is Super Mario Brothers for the NES, and it's very similar to the uh, Sonic the Hedgehog one. Beat World 1-1 one, one with the controller upside down. He said rotated 180 degrees. Same thing. So uh, here we go. There's the flip. Okay, I'm having a little bit of difficulty off off the front. You'll see the little targeting reticle, reticle in the middle because this is uh, Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt. 1210 flip skills. You are like speed yeah, running you, through this. Holy shit, man. You didn't, even, you didn't take the pipe or the star? No. My man. Thank I you. think... I think you should play the whole game this way. Agreed. <laughs> I would do so poorly. But are you sure about that? Because I, you just put yourself wrong here. <laughs> I look doing well in World One One does not a game make. <laughs> did you did you practice that? You didn't practice did that, did you? Mm -hmm. In fact, I actually game. did that one before the Sonic the Hedgehog one. So you uh, kicked ass. That was really good. Thank you. Thank you very much. So uh, not doing too terribly. Uh, we're moving on to a challenge from Nikki this time. This oh. is uh, the Ocarina of Time for the N64. Get 2,000 points in the Gerudo Arrow range. And I have now played Ocarina of Time. So yeah. I, am, I have a save file that will get me right there. So uh, let's see. How that, do I do? That's good because I tried to use a save file. Uh, from Game Facts, and I couldn't get a to work. I tried to do the challenge as well. <laughs> well, I gave it a shot, so let's see. <laughs> oh no, Rumple. Though for me, a better challenge would be the whale. So, oh. so, so far, not so good. In fact, I think 2000s are perfect. So, uh, I've I missed a lot of shit. <laughs> 
I did like that sound, though. That made me feel good. Can you hit the targets over and over again, though? You can. Yes, yeah. you can. I love that it plays the, the low health sound while you're in God, that was so annoying. <laughs> so great for concentration. Uh-huh. So I, I really imposed an added uh, challenge of, of not not dying because you did. Of... This this is the the shooting range hard mode. For I, sure. Yeah, I did very poorly. Um, yeah, I did not win that one. That was bad. I died a lot. Uh, so all right, I like like this lady says, you have plenty of room for improvement. I, exactly. That's true. I do. So, moving away from Ocarina of Time to Contra Hardcore for the Genesis. Now, uh, this one it comes from a tea tree, and it is to survive the longest. Now, this is that's assuming we were racing. Uh, more than one of us were to do this challenge. Or complete level one um, with the added boons of not losing sub-weapons upon death using a particular game genie code. And either start with all sub-weapons, another game genie code, or... Two extra lives, another game genie code. I chose two extra lives, um, and then that portion I found out did not work. So really, I just <laughs> did all sub weapon or uh, don't don't lose sub weapons upon death. So that's really the only game genie code I'm using. So uh, sure, let's see, let's see how I it think, goes. Like, yeah, okay. Uh, did you want to say something? Well, I, th I think it's just important to point out for future challenges that. Um, like these are all supposed to be individual challenges. Yes. There were a couple of challenges submitted that we couldn't do that were more like racing type of things. Yeah. Um, and those are more for like multiplayer week. But we can definitely put it on the multiplayer week list. For sure, absolutely, yeah. Jeez, Look at that wolf. Cody, you're doing so good. Well, uh, uh, like a good contra strat is to run forward, shoot, and occasionally just shoot behind you just in case and jump a lot. Um, yeah. Which is what I'm, it's the strat I'm applying here. So far, yeah. uh, it, it's doing well for me. And, and also, you're a werewolf. I love that I could be a werewolf, yes. I love that it looked like what <laughs> I imagine a werewolf would look like if it had babies with Alf. <laughs> <laughs> Rumpel says we found Cody's fursona, so sure. <laughs> Look at this napalm gun, man. Yeah, this one's pretty pretty good. I didn't like the other one because it was charge, and uh, Contra is too fast paced for charge weapons. Wow, I we don't have to show mine. <laughs> <laughs> Contra Hardcore is a great game. It's a really good video game. I think one Flashing of the best games. Sporting. Oh, jeez. Cody had no trouble with his boss. Yeah, w once he started crawling up, I'm like, oh, that looks like I'm supposed to hit the middle. So I just stood under him and shot upwards, and that seemed to work. Look at this cool ass shit. Explosions! All over the place. This game is just all explosions all the time. Yeah, dude. That's not the unmanned robot. There's someone in there. So I, I used my my gun because it felt like this is like the the has to be at the boss of the stage. So just fucking shoot. And don't use any other gun but this one. Duck, duck. Okay, that worked. Just do that again because it worked the first time. Okay, good. Oh shit. Oh no, I died. But that's okay. I still have lives. I still have two lives. One and zero. Shoot, shoot, shoot. I blew him up. Hey. I blew him up. Hey. hey. <laughs> Cody unlocks the power of guns. You can call me Dead Eye Joe. Dead Eye Joe is the best character in video games. The guns were in me all along. Like, the, the, this game has choosable paths? Fucking rules. What a good game. Yeah, dude. Stage clear. You did it. Good I job. did it. And then I end here. Because that's the challenge. Okay, so I did it. Yay me! Yeah, yay! Look, yeah, look at up, me. Man. I'm doing pretty good. Um, so uh, we get to my final challenge now, which is on Super Mario World for the SNES. Beat Yoshi's Island 3 
without collecting any coins. Now, Matt did say we could use the Switch Palace, but that meant I had to play longer, so I said no. Uh, and, <laughs> <laughs> and just went straight to trying Yoshi's Island 3. You had um, to play two more levels in Mario World, one of the best games ever made. Yes, but at this point, I was tired. It was the last thing I recorded. <laughs> so sure, sure, sure. I was ready sure. to be done. So uh, let's, right. let's see how I do. I assume gold tape did not count for a coin. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I did. So good, good, good jumps here, Cody. Good jumps here. Thank you. Oh, my God. Oh, holy shit. Oh. oh, that was so close. No pipes. Can't can't get pipes. Can't get fucking uh, question mark blocks. Must now have... you're a bigger target for coins. I am. Uh, I realized that was a mistake on my part. <laughs> oh, dear. Brooke was cheering me on through this one. And um, <laughs> honestly, it would have been easier if I just had quiet. But I do really, really appreciate my wonderful wife's constant support. She is the best thing in my life. Should have recorded. Should have recorded the, her cheering you. I should have. Man, this is this is really cool. This is impressive, Cody. I just I took that part slow. So. Ooh. Ah. Uh, yes. Ah. Uh, oh, oh, that was so close. He even got I, the gold tape. I did it. <laughs> oh. Okay, so that was it. Um I, I GG's in the chat for Cody right thank there. Thank you job, so man. much. Thank you. I, I uh, That was really fun to watch. I was really proud. Uh my wife and I had uh several high fives after that because I, I was on edge. Um so uh yeah, that was uh that I, I I really enjoyed that challenge. It was very hard, but I did it. I don't know what that makes my average. I'll need to go through and tally it up. But uh, um, I think you I think you got uh, you missed four out of ten. Okay, so six out of ten. Hey, hey, I'll take it. Good. Take it. Yeah. So uh, that is it for my challenges. Uh, Matt, you are up next. Sure. Um, okay. So uh, I went a little hog wild here. I did thirteen challenges. <laughs> sure. I'm an idiot. Um, and uh, I. Uh, did this first one is from Cody. Uh, it's kind of a redo of an older challenge he did at one point that we did on a previous Nick Arcade challenge. Um, using the beta version of Mortal <laughs> Kombat 2, which uh, there's one major... If you never played the beta version of MK2, there's one major difference. It's that it has Hover Baraka. It's the best um, difference. I forgot about Hover Baraka. Oh, oh how could gosh. you forget about Hover Baraka? <laughs> um, who's got Hover Baraka? And uh, for some reason, Baraka hovers. We don't really know why. Um, and Cody's challenge was to get a flawless victory using Hover Baraka without hovering. Yes. So I'm not. I'm not supposed. To, you're not going to see a lot of hovering here with Hover Baraka. I don't remember why we're redoing it. I think I, there was something messed up about the challenge last time. Well, the the last challenge was uh, just another MK2 beta challenge. This one, this this one's yeah, okay. pretty, uh, a little different, but the the other one was an early fatality, which is another yeah. beta thing. Uh, that's right. You can do a, you can do a fatality at any point in the fight. That's right. I'm yeah. About that. <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go. Okay. Let's do it. All right. So we got a little bit of the intro here to the MK2 beta. Um, I love I love your frame. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> I uh, <laughs> quiet, Dylan. No one. Oh, asked. can you hear him? I'll fix it. It's Sorry. okay. Don't worry about it. Uh, so as per usual, I'm I'm a I'm I'm a butthole, and if you don't give me specific challenges, I'm gonna go in and change the difficulty. So I did, and look at Baraka on the cabinet on the character select screen. Even he hovers there too. Yeah. Great. So I, I did change the difficulty to very easy. Okay. Yeah, All good. right. Of, uh, of course, so, that doesn't count. <laughs> right. And well, that doesn't count either. Oh, oh, you hovered, dude. <laughs> I didn't hover. That, that, that doesn't count. It was from a throw. 
Uh, but even then, I'm not gonna get a flawless victory because he already hit me. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. But that's I, all right. I mean, I I came in with a game plan. I knew what I wanted to do. Let's see if we can get it in round two. Okay. I did not specify it had to be the first fight. It, it, I, in fact, I it, think I said it could be any of the fights within the first person. Yes. So there you go. You got it. Yeah. You fit. You uh, good easy. job. Yay. You did easy. it. You did it. You did it. I did. I just beat him like I would beat you know my little sister when I played Mortal <laughs> Kombat as a kid. Just uppercuts a lot. Yeah, with <laughs> just hovered twice. How dare you? Not during the fight. Yeah, no, the finish him doesn't count. Like it's fan chat, fan chat. <laughs> uh, with with Baraka, you hover any time that you stop moving, um, or you yeah. don't press down. So as long as you keep moving or you press down, um, then then you don't right. hover. And uh, Matt figured out um, the way to cheese it with <laughs> with that. So. I'm Matt. Hey, I'm that's fine. Cheese it. That's, that's my jam. Good job, buddy. Um, this next challenge was from uh, Gun Makuma. Uh, okay, no, no points. Never mind. We're skipping Gun Makuma's Gun <laughs> challenge. I don't like him anymore. Um, <laughs> this next challenge is from, I think this one's from Cody, actually. Okay. Uh, and it is a pacifist run through the first level of Star Fox. Yes. Um, and so uh, I'm just supposed to get to the final boss of Corneria without uh, killing any enemies. Yeah, no killing. That's it. There we go. I skipped the intro. And I sped it up just a little bit because it's kind of a long level. Uh, this was one of my older the... challenges, I think. It was. Um, we were a little less concerned about time. <laughs> and uh, I, I've played Star Fox 64 before. And I knew that uh, doing a, <laughs> these voices are great sped up, um, but doing a barrel roll does deflect lasers. Um, it's not going to deflect damage from the ground, which I hit a lot, but it is going to deflect, deflect lasers. So I can uh, make sure I'm, you know, pretty healthy throughout this just by ma mashing R the entire time. Um, but I also keep mashing my ship into the ground, which is a problem. <laughs> so, uh, a barrel roll. She's not even here. Uh, <laughs> She's here in spirit. Um, and I, the one cool thing about the challenge is I do get to ignore Falco getting attacked. It's very exciting. <laughs> That's true. Just let him go down. That's fine. Yeah. Oh, no. Falco died. No. I, I love oh. the voice. <laughs> Um, it does. It should have the SNES voices. Those are perfect. Thank you. No, yeah, um, perfect impression. Yeah, Falco went down like rent was due. Uh, I tried to go through the waterfall because the waterfall is actually the secret exit to level one, but I think you actually have to say Falco to do that. And all range mode means we made it, so we made it. All right. Yeah. Good job, bud. Hey, it was pretty easy. Yeah. Um, not too hard, not too difficult. Um, it's, uh, you know, just, I, I feel like even if I wasn't mashing R the whole time, I probably wouldn't find, you know, it's just don't get killed in level one. Yeah. It's just Star Fox. And don't kill. Yeah. No, and don't kill. Yeah. Also easy. I love not killing. Yeah. Um, even in real life, I've done it for 35 years. So good job. Uh, it's, I'm it's proud of you. Thanks, man. I've been working on it. Um, so uh, next up, the challenge is the one from Gun Makuma from earlier, um, and uh, he suggested we play uh, Blazing Lasers on the Turbo Graphics 16 or PC Engine. Um, and Blazing Lasers is a shmup, uh, like a top-down shooter. And one of the weird things about this game, and I had to look it up because I wasn't sure what it meant, um, is that you can uh, on the bosses on the odd number levels, if you just don't fight them then they'll just leave after a while <laughs> they'll just they'll just give up uh and you'll get a bunch of bonus lives and points and, and stuff um now he didn't specify like if i had to do it in one life or anything so I, I i took it to mean like at least one continue um so i get a couple tries here spoiler alert i don't get it on the first try uh but yeah let's take a look at uh, blazing lasers yeah. The right boss now. of level one. Okay. 
By the way, I should point out this game fucking rules. This game's really good. I've never played this game. I mean, neither until today. Um, so we skip it right ahead to the boss. Um, I've got some power-ups, but I can't use any of them. I do have a shield, which will save me from a couple hits. Um, which is definitely useful. I've already been taking those hits. Um, so he, shoot, he, he lobs his grenades. He's got the two big twin lasers. And he's also got two bullets that come out every now and again. And so my job is I need to sort of, you know, fly away. Huh. Uh, I have nothing else I can do. It's just, you know, watch out. And uh, he doesn't have a... Per I didn't realize when I died I had a second, like, life right away, by the way. Uh, so, yeah, okay. I lose two lives right up front. Um, but yeah, so we get a second try here. But the, uh, the lasers are pretty consistent. Ugh. The bullets are pretty consistent, but the, uh, grenades are the real problem. Oh, shit. But I come up, I come with a different plan this time. Uh, so I've got a different power up. And these little attachments, if I put them in front of me, can block the bullets and the bombs. Oh, cool. But I do have to put them in front of me, which is, you know, easier said than done. It's because you know, I'm still also having to maneuver my way out of everything else. So, um, and it doesn't seem like the boss's pattern is super consistent either. Because uh, sometimes it'll come together, sometimes it'll come apart. Sometimes it'll trap me. Sometimes it won't. Doing pretty good so far. Uh, yeah, this is a, this is a good run. I was pretty happy with this run. Oh fuck! I was really scared there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, he got me in the corner. I was trapped. All right, last life. Legend of the last life. That'll always do it though, so it's fine. Legend of the last life. Well, we have a T-shirt of that. <laughs> Good. I brought the, I brought the uh, shield this time. Okay, I've lost most of the shield. I lost the shield. It's fine. This is fine. You're gonna do this it. Fine. I got. I believe in I you. Got that do dodge between the lasers. Oh. Motherfucker! I still got my extra life. It's fine. I got the extra ship for some reason. We're good. We're good. It's a little bit of a bigger ship, so it's harder to dodge, but it's fine. Fuck! Oh no! Yeah, I didn't make it. I didn't pass that one. So. Ah. Good, good, good try. Yeah, yeah, I gave, him, I gave him my best shot. Um, so that was that was pretty tough. I really, I, I looked up a video to see what it looks like when it's done, and it's really funny. The ship just flies off. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> fuck, you're not fun. I'm out. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it was a hard challenge, though. It's a hard challenge and a good one. So, uh, thank you very much, Kuma. Uh, this next one is one that uh, you've already seen before today, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and, uh, oh, there'll be a power you can shoot if you keep hitting it. That's the bottom of the screen. You can grab a rainbowish orb. So then you get a gold life. Which we... Yeah, I got those. Yeah. Um, as you can see. But, um, this one's from Joey. This is the Tetris level 16 challenge. Um, I used the code to get there and, uh, gave it my best shot. Here we go. All right. Thirty seconds on the clock. You can see in the bottom right corner. Uh, so here we go. Wait. Uh, wait. Um, oh no. Wait. Oh no. Um. Um. Wait. Um. Wait. Oh, um. What? Um. Wait. Um. um. Wait. Um. Wait. Um, wait, um wait. Okay. I'm like. I got 15 seconds. I got 15 seconds. I can do another run. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's what are go. you doing? No. I got 30 seconds. 30 seconds is, is what it's got to be. So maybe a second run will, be, will work. Uh, oh fuck. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh piss. Oh dicks. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Well, I didn't make it in 30 seconds, so. All right, so you join me in the realm of yes. failure. Uh, <laughs> uh, that was a rough one. Yeah. All right. Um, well. So yeah. Valiant effort. Yeah. So that's two fails in a row for me. That's fine. That's fine. Um, I can still make a comeback. I think maybe we'll see. Um, this next one is also one you've seen already. This is from a tea tree. Uh, this is the Contra Hardcore Challenge, and uh, as Cody explained. A teacher gave us some game genie codes to work with. Um, and I was also like Cody having some trouble getting them to work. Um, but I decided I was going to go and make this truly hardcore. I didn't use any game genie codes. Oh, oh my wow. goodness. What? 
No, sir. No. Oh, Matt's a show but, off. Boo this man. <laughs> but, but I use this game genie code right here because you see, what I decided to do was I played the Japanese version of Contra Hardcore. And in the Japanese version of Contra Hardcore, you have a health bar. Oh, what? Let's, let's watch my playthrough of Contra oh, Hardcore. Oh, my goodness. All right. <laughs> we apparently need to be region-specific in challenges now, too. What are you talking about? <laughs> Contra Hardcore. No, yeah. I sped this up oh, as well you... a little bit. Ding dang. All right. I, I, I was afraid of taking up too much time. I decided to be the regular guy. Oh, this is Contra, not Contra. <laughs> so far, so good. Um, I, got, I got hit. I got hit. Yeah. Um, so they decided to make this harder for the American audience for no reason. Oh, you got a no, heat-seeking no. gun. I did, yeah. That's e pretty good. Each character has different weapons, which is kind of one of the things that makes this game really neat. Oh. So if you play through like with a partner, and you can both be two different characters who have completely different guns. Oh, that's cool. You went invisible for a second. He hit me. The guy hit me. Yeah. Uh, hit me again there. Uh, so like, normally when you think of like games that get taken from uh, Japan to America. Um, the opposite is true. Normally, the American version is easier. Think like Final Fantasy or Super Mario Brothers three. Um, but for some reason, on this one, they made the American version just so much harder. Um, I was not as confident as Cody with these blasts, and I also only had the regular gun. Uh, but we still got him. Well, I did use a game genie code to not lose sub weapons. So <laughs> true enough. True enough. True enough. But now I got the classic spreader, so I'm good to go. Spread gun's pretty good. Yeah, if you've never played a Contra game before, the spread gun is a, a mainstay. Um, and I'm going to get to the boss fight that Cody got to here. I've still only got one life left. All right, all right. And he hits me. And oh, 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 oh I got hit again. So I decided to use the bomb as well, like Cody did. And I'm down to my final life here. Oh, oh. Okay, I've got one hit left. One hit left. You can do it. If I get hit, I do, if I get hit, I do lose this challenge. And, uh You did it! Got him. You did got it! Got him. Good job, so, bud. Even still, you know, with with uh, no game genie codes and just the extra health bar. That's uh, pretty good. Still by, by the skin of my teeth. Um, but yeah, that's Contra Hardcore. Um, right on, buddy. It's, it's a really, it's a really good video game. I enjoyed really it. It's game. hard, but Legend of the Last Life. There it is, exactly. Yeah, it it, it is a hard. It, it is hard. Like you, like if you're like me and you grew up on Contra Three: The Alien Wars, uh, Hardcore is very different in a lot of ways. But it's a very fun game. Legend of the very Last worth. Hit, and even in this. yeah, right. <laughs> um, my next challenge, I think, is from Cody as well. Um, this is a newer one, uh, which was get to the first checkpoint in Lion King on Super Nintendo in 30 seconds. Is All there right. any reason you picked the Lion King? Uh, I just was trying to come up with a more traditional challenge, and uh, I was like, sure. Lion King, I don't think has been in a Nick Arcade challenge week before, so yeah, because that game sucks. Well, I, I don't tell you. <laughs> All right, let's play Lion King. All right. <laughs> oh, the planet. It starts. All right. Uh, so, again, I got 30 seconds on the clock. You can see the timer running in the bottom right. There we go. Uh, I do not know where the first checkpoint is. It's been a while since I played this game. So, I'm just kind of running. Uh, I'm like, I'm pretty sure I have to climb up here, I think. Yeah, you're doing correct so far. Ah, fuck. I fell off. Hopefully, that doesn't cost me. Um, we'll see. Uh, I think I think you're five. gonna make it. Yeah, I've got uh, three seconds left on the uh, clock. Oh, 
Oh, so oh, I, close. I did not make it. That fall earlier did indeed cost me. Oh, man. Oh, man. I, I did not make it in time. Four uh, seconds. All right. So yeah. Yeah. Just barely. Just barely missed it. I tried. I, I did my best. Uh, oh, but, no. Yeah. You're That's supposed to right. sing the thing, same song during this level. I didn't. Uh, that should have been the challenge. But, <laughs> um, so I failed, what, three challenges so far? Uh, but past three, so we're kind of 50 50. Um, maybe I can bring it back with this challenge from Cody for Mario 64, which is get the red coins in Cool Cool Mountain while avoiding the evil chasing one up that comes from a tree. Uh, Cody provided a video of this challenge uh, wherein you'll see I do produce a one up from a tree and I have to get all the red coins in the level before this one up touches me. And if it does, then I'm dead. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. Let's take a look at it. This is a this is a uh, an old one. I think I, I did this like four Nick Arcades ago. So yeah, I'm glad someone finally did it. All right. So I can't get this coin yet. I have to go activate the the deadly one up first. I did have to play through the first couple levels of Mario 64 to get here. I didn't have a save. Um, oh, I'm that's sorry. Right. Oh, I didn't mind it. All right, the one up is here. All right, get the fuck out of there. Run, 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 run. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. All right. So I was like, I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to do the side jump over the coin. I think it's going to work just perfect. Fuck. Oh, no. It immediately gets so oh, I'm glad no. you got to see this challenge that I failed miserably. <laughs> uh, we, we waited for so long for someone to do it, and I did it, and there it is. Hey. I fucked. I fucked up real bad. Cody. I'm, I'm excited hey. that that someone finally did it. I, you know, it's yeah, hard. It's know, a hard I'm, one. It is. It is a tough challenge. Yeah. Um, but I think with some practice, I could do it. But uh, I was my my only practice that day was you know killing King Babam and racing Koopa the Quick. So. Sure. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, all right, so I got a couple more challenges left. I decided to get into the weirder challenges here for the end. All uh, right. Most of the challenges you saw up front were pretty basic, um, but uh, Cody provided a lot of really really odd challenges, and as did uh, some of our viewers. Um, this one is for Super Mario Brothers Two. Okay. And Super Mario Brothers Two, he asked me to use a game genie code. A Z X A N Z A A, Azixanza, <laughs> and I had to make it through uh, the first level of Mario Two uh, without taking the shortcut or losing a life. Uh, so I just had to get to Birdo. Uh, I don't have to kill Birdo; just make it to Birdo. Mm -hmm. But uh, some weird stuff will happen. That's all I can say. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. All these codes will do weird things. Okay. Let's see. Okay. All right, so I'm going to use Peach because I always use Peach. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the challenge, as you'll see, is that the Game Genie code makes me go behind the oh. uh, background of the level, mm -hmm. which uh, makes me really difficult to see where I am. Um, it has some weird interactions with enemies and other blocks. Um... Oh, no. But I got hit already, so I decided, well, I am going to go ahead and grab this for safety real quick. Uh, I would Because I can't sure. die. So yeah. let's go ahead and get this, get, this, let's get this mushroom and this potion. That's fair. Um, you know, like, I'm even going behind the plants there. It's an interesting code. Yeah. Um, Cody, uh, you got all these codes from one YouTube channel, right? Uh, yeah, I got uh, this time I got them all from uh, Kilgraz, so... Yeah, which is a pretty cool YouTube channel if you haven't checked him out. Uh, he does a lot of like weird Game Genie Code videos. Mm -hmm. um, so you said not the shortcut. You didn't say right. like, like do that cool jump that I just did. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, okay. I I mostly uh, just wanted to force you through this section. <laughs> yeah, because it's I'm like it's tough. I got hit right there. I don't even know what hit me. Um, but it's not too tough. It's hard to just kind of tell where I'm going to come out at. Right. But I try not to go behind the background as much as possible, obviously. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. Um, 
Like, you're even behind the vines here. It's really weird. Yeah, dude. You said you wanted weird game genie ones. So. I did. I did. I was really happy with it. So we got the Birdo, and that's it. You did I, it. I did go ahead and I did fight Birdo in my playthrough, but I mean, there's nothing changed. It's just a fight with Birdo. Yeah, yeah. So. You don't go behind anything with Birdo, so. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So I completed that challenge. Pretty good one. Good Pretty cool job, challenge. buddy. Um. This next one, uh, is a challenge for Mario Brothers Three from Cody. Um, and this is, uh, you have to use the Game Genie code, uh, P-A-A-S-N-I, or Paisney. <laughs> um, and I have to kill any non-Goomba enemy within the first two stages, or knock the wings off at least two para-Goombas without killing them. I can't game over. Uh, I said I could practice the entire challenge before recording. I did not. Okay. Uh, so this is my first go. All right. Uh, this will be interesting. But but yeah, so there's something weird going on with Mario 3 here that makes it hard to kill the enemies, as you'll see, pretty quick. Okay. Let's get it. There's the music. All right. Yeah. For some reason, the videos are loading weird. So you've already noticed something just flew off into the sky. <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, so when things touch the edge of platforms, they just seem to just kind of, kind of just go. That this is, this is why I said does. you could challenge first, or uh, practice first. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Uh, so yeah, there's a, there's a lot going on here. You can do it. I believe in you, friend. Like, I believe I've hit one Paragoomba at this point. Is that correct? Sorry, I had to look away for a second. Oh. Yes. Or no, no, I haven't hit a Paragoomba yet. I'm trying. I killed, I killed it. Oh, that's uh, right. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I, I killed it. Uh, <laughs> that Koopa fucks off to Narnia. Uh, so I, I've got one Paragoomba there, or Paragoomba. You got one. Yep. Um, this but is I'm hard. a hard time. Just watching that piranha just fly away is really good. <laughs> That's my favorite part of this code. <laughs> yeah. Um, so there's there's no enemies left for me to kill, so I just am like, well, it's one one and one two, is what Cody said. So. All right. Um. In and, space. Uh... <laughs> yeah, they're they're they they go back to their home planet. They're aliens, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I wanted to see what happened when these Goombas came out of these pipes, but they just kind of don't. Yeah. It was weird, but okay, sure. Um... Oh, wait, what? <laughs> They're just firing out like a cannon for some reason. Okay. Um, so I haven't killed any non Goombas yet. Uh, that leaf is just gone. I'm just trying to find. I know there's a, a, a Paragoomba there. And I can't get the star. The star is gone. Um, there's one more Paragoomba at the end. Of, uh, no, okay. Uh, he just keeps flying away before I get to him. No! I might be out of enemies. I think you're out, man. Uh, well, I gave it my best shot. You, you really um, did. <laughs> So now just go murder, yeah. <laughs> just just go get killed, get murdered. Oh. Uh, well, I'm, I I thought there was another Paragumba back here that I didn't kill, or that I, like maybe might respawn. So I decided to just kind of reload the whole level. It's worth trying. Yeah. The Goomba's being eaten. No. Uh, I have to use the invisible version of this block to get up there. Because the block exists in both spaces. Ah! What? 
I got one. I got it. I got it. So my goodness, dude. We'll touch the end of the level and we'll move on with our lives. Congratulations. Hey, you know, it feels pretty good. Um, you know what? No. 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 Oh, oh my goodness. Look at you. <laughs> good job. Oh, yeah. Look at you, buddy. It was, it was pretty stupid. Uh, that was a dumb challenge. <laughs> and, I liked uh, it. Shut up. <laughs> yeah. It was fun uh, to watch. I thought the code was really unique. Yeah, for sure. For sure. What do you think is like the, the, the best part of like those kind of, oh, I, like, sure. I like those u unique challenges. Um, it's the like, surprise. The, yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. Um, I was supposed to just de-wing him, but I couldn't kill him. Um, this next one is also another, uh, I think this is the last of the game genie codes from Cody. Um, oh, sad times. I know. Um, this is from Mega Man. I have to use the game genie code T A O O G I E A. Taugia. <laughs> and uh, make it to any of the first bosses without game overing. Um, so the robot masters. Uh, I don't actually have to fight the boss, I just have to get to them. Mm -hmm. uh, I can reset the game and pick a different boss once as long as I do so within the first minute. Uh, spoiler alert, I don't do that. Um, okay. so, but there, there's some, this code does a lot and you'll see in a second exactly what that is. I'm excited. So we're going to play Mega Man one, which I swore I'd never do again, but here we are <laughs> game. Je ne sais quoi codes. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> So, holding left makes me bounce right, and vice versa. I also cannot move and shoot. Uh, I also cannot move and jump. Uh, but if I move in the air, I kind of float? Yeah, you just kind of float. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, all right. So my, my movement controls are reversed. I can't shoot and move. And everything, everything's just weird, man. So we speed this up a little bit. And sometimes the foot, like that's a speed run technique right there. There you go. Hey, Puck Boo, thank you. Yeah, um, it is, that is a solid background. I mean, Fillmore would approve. He did, he's my best friend, so. Uh, so I'm trying to play it safe here. I don't want to die. Um, I didn't remember where the checkpoints were in Mega Man 1. I know they have checkpoints in the levels, but I don't remember where. Um, so I'm still trying not to just, you know, just get as far as I can. Uh, because you said I can not game over. Right. But dying is okay. Dying is okay. Yeah. Uh, oh god, I fell off the side. It's fine. That's right. It's fine. I can just hover back. I can, I can hover back on. <laughs> <laughs> you were weird hover hop. You got it. Yeah. Uh, so we got these weird cut blades that come out here. Very hard to avoid, even when you're not hovering weirdly. Uh, so I just take some damage from them. And these weird hoppers. Um, this is always level I did first in Mega Man 1, so it just kind of seemed to make the most sense to do it. Sure, yeah. Um, yeah, this, like, the, the level you choose makes a big difference for this code, I think. For sure. If you, Oddly enough, the level, the level, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. I was gonna, if you did a level with just a bunch of flying enemies, it would be pretty sure. hard. Oddly enough, the level I have the most trouble with in Mega Man 1 is Got the Man stage, which is a lot of pits. Yeah. Uh, a lot of falling in pits, and I kind of feel like this code would make it pretty trivial. Yeah, yeah. Guts Man would have, was the one I was thinking of when I, when I issued him. Like, hopefully someone just chooses that naturally, but. I did not. Look at that move. You got it, though. Look at you, bud. Yeah, exactly, yeah. I think Bomb Man is canonically like the, the right one to start with, I'm pretty sure. Alright. They're just not dropping health for me. It's fine. Oh shit. We're fine. This is fine. It's not. It's you not. died. It's alright. It's but not a game like over. To. You yeah. can do it. The checkpoint wasn't that far back. It was like two rooms down, actually. Th thankfully, you got a checkpoint, so that's good. Yeah. 
Start with Metal Man and Mega Man 1. Sure. I thought about like going off the side of the level there and, and just like hovering, but I didn't want to die. <laughs> um, And this is my favorite part, because screw that guy. Bye. <laughs> you did it! Uh, oh, I not quite. You're almost there. We're almost there, yeah. But you can you can do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But uh, you know. You can it. Let's fight Cut Man. Oh, okay. Well, you've already completed the challenge, so now self-imposed. Yeah. yeah. Oh no. Uh, I do not have Cut Man's weakness, which I believe is the guts arm. Luckily, you can just oh, you can just oh, Mega Buster him to death. That's fine. Oh my I'm god! I'm trying to do the I'm trying to do the pause trick where you can pause and hurt him more. And I can't get it though. I didn't get it. I think you're gonna do it though. Just by standing in one uh. spot and shooting. <laughs> you. Yeah. Oh! With one hit left. <laughs> yeah, good game, Matt. Yeah. Cuts man defeated. You did it. You slaughtered uh, that 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 cutman. Cut him in half. Woo! Um, so that's the end of the game genie challenges here. Uh, we've got three more challenges for you here today. All right. Uh huh. Uh, and I wanted to do these. These are more like the physical challenges, I guess. Uh huh. Um, one of which you, I believe, you or maybe two of which you've seen already. Uh, this one is from Digital Ignorance, which was playing Super Mario Brothers One One with a, the controller upside down. Okay. I think you had to beat it in like ninety seconds. Was the was the time? Yes, ninety seconds. Yeah. So I've got the controller. You can see my hands there. Turn it upside down. You get the flip. Yep, yep. You know the timer. Go. All right. All right. So I'm trying to get used to the controls here for a second. Uh, I I thought about taking the pipe. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I don't. Like, let's uh, see if we can just go. Let me see if we can speed up. Speed running Cody did, strats. Cody did it way better though. Ah, you're doing pretty solid though, buddy. Oh 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 oh! No, I got hit. I was over. Now you're invisible, Mario. <laughs> Now I'm invincible, Mario. Let's go. Oh, you got it. All right. Yeah, I didn't see any reason not to get the star. Oh, no, shit. of course. Oh, yeah, you did it. Look at you. Yeah, so 90 seconds with the time. Cut it down to about 45. Uh, not terrible. <laughs> I love the flourish. <laughs> okay. Good job. Bro. Um. Yeah, yeah, thanks. You, you got fireworks pretty... and everything. I, I, I had to record the fireworks. I got the fireworks, yeah. Uh, next is a second upside down controller challenge that Cody also did, which was uh, Sonic uh, One uh, One, uh, or I guess Zone One, uh, with the upside down controller. I didn't take it to mean that you couldn't die. Okay. Um, I mean, mine was self imposed, but, so yeah, it didn't so that, say that it. Was, so technically, it's not part of it. Mimi fan did not say that you couldn't die. Uh, I think, by the way, the so the upside down one was from Digital Ignorance. This is upside down one is from Mimi fan. So it let's is. Take a look yes. At it. Spoiler alert, I die at one point. <laughs> That's fine. All right, so we got the controller upside down. It's just Sonic. How hard could it be? Look at you. Speed it up a little bit. Got the invincibility. And if you've never played, like, Green Hill Zone, just, just go right. It's fine. That's pretty much it. Just try not to get I, to the very bottom. Yeah, I don't think I really ever let go of left if I didn't have to. I think that's like a lot of early Sonic. Yeah. Uh, I did have trouble with this section. Oh, fuck. Yeah, lack of spin dash makes some of these For sure. uh, things a little more difficult. Can't keep, I can't, just can't keep my momentum. Ah, uh, you did die. I died in okay. almost the same place you died. Almost yeah. exactly the same. Yeah. I, I didn't realize you could die in the pit between the spikes. Yeah. Yeah. But if you're invincible, the spikes don't hurt you. So. 
I mean, that's definitely the way to go. As you'll see, yeah. Okay. All right, act two. Act okay. Two. But of course, uh, Sonic 1 has three acts in every zone, which is terrible. Uh, they learned that lesson pretty quick. You gotta, you gotta fight and Robotnik. I, and I, I do want to say, I don't, I didn't know where any of these invincibilities are, I promise. I just well, kind of kept finding them. I mean, knowing um, that's not cheating, even if you did. So. No, I know, but I mean, I'm just like, I just kept happening upon them. All right, we'll slow down here for this end part. I mean, you got to see the boss fight, right? Absolutely. Because that's the toughest part. All right. So, again, controls are reversed. It's a little tough. It's not even the controls are reversed. Your hand is reversed. It's much harder. Right, yeah. But it's, it's still Sonic 1. Keep it ringing. You're fine. Yeah, it feels weird controlling direction with your other side of the controller. Right, yeah, for sure. Oh, nope, not today. <laughs> not today, Robotnik Satan. <laughs> Got him. Get thee behind me, Ivo. <laughs> you did it. Easy peasy. Matt just making slaughters. -da 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 -da. Yeah, you get a little flourish there too. Um, and so that's uh, that's I, I was able to do those upside down controller challenges pretty easy. Um, please don't make me do any of those ever again though. Um, because <laughs> <laughs> I feel like they'll they'll only kind of just like get harder and harder now. Sure. Uh, the they've been completed. Uh, and so your last challenge today. Uh, is um, so Rumble suggested something uh, a challenge um, and he said beat Sonic 2 level 1 blindfolded with direction supplied by another host during play um, which again kind of goes against the normal ethos of uh, Nick Arcade Week normally we don't work together you know it's individual challenges uh, and so I said Okay, fuck the other host part. Let's just do it blindfolded. Okay. And so I gave a crack at uh, Sonic 2 uh, Level 1 Zone 1 blindfolded. Uh, I have actually not watched this video yet, so I don't know what happens. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, so let's find out together. Oh, this is interesting. Okay. Oh, also, I don't have a blindfold. So uh, let's use this blanket. You did something similar I, I, to this the last time you did a blindfolded <laughs> challenge. I have a blindfold somewhere. Uh, but I can't find oh, it. Oh, you went back to the start. You got oh, it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're good. Okay. So, just got to beat zone one of Emerald, uh, act one of Emerald Hill zone. Uh, and my strategy is very simple. Uh, hold right and jump a lot. Oh, it failed you. For a second. Going pretty okay. Yeah, it seems to be going all right. Okay. Oh, we got a shield. Lost a shield. And I don't. I have no idea where I am. I don't know what's happening here. <laughs> God, how long am I here? I wonder. I have no idea. <laughs> you have no idea if you succeeded or not. I, I like. I definitely don't know where I am right now. I'm just like walking and jumping. Oh, I like the dance. <laughs> I, I, like, at this point, I feel like I'm doing good. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I, I feel like I'm doing great. I don't realize that I'm caught in a pit forever. You think you're doing good because you haven't died yet. Yeah, I haven't died. I must be doing great. If you would just keep, stop jumping, you would just hit that damn plunger. Man. <laughs> no, this is fine. I'm doing great at Sonic. I'm doing great at Sonic. <laughs> oh, you. Oh, it's, it still oh, wasn't like, enough. Oh, my God, there's a spring? Oh. I gotta keep <laughs> jumping. Jumping is the way. 
The jumping has failed you. <laughs> this is fine. But I keep hearing the spring. And throughout this time I realize, oh, am I caught behind a spring? I think I think the spring is to my right. So I'm trying to jump over the spring. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you did it. Oh, shit. Hey, a checkpoint. Nice. We're out. We outie. You are, but now you, now you have a loop. <laughs> uh, and your jumps will fail you there. Oh, God. I, I know I'm out of rings now. Oh, no. But so I, while you're here, do you feel like a sense of like resistance to whatever you're trying to do? Like, kind of? But like, it's all in my head, right? So, yeah. like, I don't know. As far as I know, I'm moving forward. I have no idea. Um, like, sometimes I swear you can, like, it's almost like you can feel the difference. Right? Yeah. It's really strange. It's a very strange feeling to play any any level of any game blindfolded, let alone something as fast as this. Yeah. Uh, God damn it, another wall. <laughs> but Tails is my guide. He spin dashes, I spin dash. Hey! Oh! You did, it. Fantastic. You, you did it! Good job! Oh, you look so happy. <laughs> yeah. I was so excited. Yeah, as, as you should be, my dude. Yeah, that was excellent. Yeah, Good first try. Um, job. Yeah, so more blindfolded challenges, but uh, if you just want to do them in like easy games where you can just hold right and jump a lot and things happen eventually, that'd be great. That'd be super cool. Right on. <laughs> Okay, so uh, that's all of Matt's. Um, normally, we'd have Nikki's here. Unfortunately, we're having some uh, technical difficulties, so we're not going to get Nikki's challenges this week. Uh, I am very sorry. Um, but uh, that just means next time she'll play uh, double the challenges. It'll be uh, oops all Nikki's. Uh, <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, Nikki, Nikki, Nikki wins by points, actually, because she didn't fail any challenges. <laughs> that's true. That's true. 10 out of 10. 100%. Uh, so. Blue. That's that's uh, all right. I, I'm sorry. I know everyone wants to see more Nikki uh, as, as much as possible, but not not this particular time. But that's fine. We have an after show. Come follow us. We'll hang out. Um, so that's uh, it for Nick Arcade Challenge Week. Before we go ahead and sign off, Matt, what are we doing next time? Oh my goodness. Um, so I don't think we've done this challenge in quite a bit. Uh. I think the last or the challenge, a uh, theme in quite a bit. The last time we did this uh, has one of my favorite visuals ever in our, our entire history of our show. Um, and you know, it's a really good time. With there's a lot of great games coming out uh, in like the next couple of days or so. Virtual Fighter just came out. Uh, Virtual Fighter Five. Um, Guilty Gear has a sequel coming out. There's a lot of rumors of some really cool fighting games coming out. We don't get to play any of those. We need to play uh, lesser known fighting games. Oh boy, we're looking for. For one-on-one -on -one or multiplayer fighting games that uh, maybe have uh, not stood the test of time and or don't have <laughs> fan bases and or are like, you know, uh, time killers. So... <laughs> Okay, right on. This is always fun. Um, there's plenty of whack, wacky, wackadoo uh, fighting games out there. So that's what you have to look forward to in two weeks. Until then, this has been Cartridge Blowers. I'm Cody Coleman. With me, as always, is Nikki Wright and Matt Krua. <laughs> Guys, don't die, but Matt, they should do something. What is that something? Keep on blowing. <laughs> Wow. Correct. Good night recording. <laughs>